The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Healthcare. Improve service quality in the public healthcare system and develop national capabilities at a reasonable cost. The Amiri Hospital expansion project is carried out within the Amiri existing hospital complex in the Shark area of Kuwait City. Project cost is up to 150 million Kuwaiti dinar. The surface area is approximately 13,510 square meters. The gross surface area with a total capacity of 416 bed accommodation and will approximately 101,000 square meters. The work contract compresses the design and the construction, supply of medical equipment and hospital furnishings for the new hospital and refurbishment of the existing areas, in addition to ordinary maintenance. The new hospital will be connected to the existing one of the means of the Tumu and the suspended food bridge. The new hospital has three underground floors surface of approx 13,400 square meters and 13 upper floor surface of 8,500 square meters from ground floor to 6th floor 6,000 square meters from 7th floor to 12th floor parking areas and four scene both for underground floors and the upper floors for a total of 640 parking spaces. The annual plan is scheduled to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. Now we will take in a social media tour regarding El Amiri New Hospital. From New Kuwait government account, His Highness Prime Minister integrates the new expansion of Amiri Hospital. And from Amina Bashiri account, opening of the new Amiri Hospital and further achievements. And from Sada account, the new expansion of Amiri Hospital is very beautiful and elegant. The first football team of the Arabic club resumed its training at Sabah Stalim Stadium in preparation for the resumption of competitions suspended sports due to the corona pandemic. The green team began its training, led by the assistant's national coach until the team coach and his assistant returned from their countries next month. This time we must support the player, we must support the team more than before because we, we stay uh, three months, we don't have any training, we don't have anything. The players were divided according to the health requirements in training into two groups and they were trained respectively the training including running around the stadium and some endurance exercises without and with a ball in an effort of the technical staff to raise the fitness level of players after a long pause. Actually it's a great feeling that we are, we are back to football after like few months sitting in, the, in home. Um, it feels great to, be, to get prepared for the next competition and we hope you are doing well. The team expressed their happiness to return with enthusiasm and longing to play the game again after a long interruption due to the coronavirus. From Sabah Salim Stadium in the Arabic Club.
Al Sabah Hospital is planned to act as a general secondary care facility providing general and specialized clinical services. It will also support Al Amiri Hospital in providing general secondary care services to the residents of Capital Government. The hospital will act as the first point of contact for patients sustaining trauma and requiring multidisciplinary management and stabilization prior to concluding their treatment within the Sabah Hospital or being referred to other specialized hospitals within the region. Kuwait Ministry of Health is the developer of the new Al Sabah Hospital project. State of the art a multidisciplined hospital, which is part of Kuwait's major upgrade of the public health care system. It is located on a site area of around 88,000 square meters and has an overall built up area of about 265 uh, square meters. 50% of the new Sabah Hospital project has been completed and the project is expected to be concluded the next year with a total cost of 179 million Kuwaiti dinars. The project comprises of a main building with a basement, a ground floor and 12 floors with a 512 bed capacity, in addition to 105 ICU beds. The hospital will also include casualty radiology, general surgery, specialized surgery, nuclear medicine, physiotherapy and respiratory departments, in addition to 72 OPDs, pharmacies, reception, labs, storage, areas and a heliport. The hospital administration building comprises of eight floors and that the nuclear medicine department would be equipped with state-of-the-art waste processing technology. The quality of the facade selected for the center is distinguished with features of sustainability, endurance and the ability to absorb noise and ensure the comfort of patients. The project will include an airstrip, a multi-parking building with the capacity to accommodate more than 1,200 cars. The project will cater for residents of Sabah Health Zones and its surrounding areas. The state of Kuwait has provided a great attention to the health district, which serves all individuals residing in the country from citizen to expatriates, providing them with medical care. Here from Muhammad account, under the supervision of Amiri Diwan, a large and modern project with a standard time period according to the size of project. And from Tam News, Minister of Health said completion of new Jahara Hospital project are the selective addition to the health care process and a qualitative leap in health service. And here from Salam News, the new hospital project under the supervision of the Amiri Diwan on Monday which includes 1,234 beds, 8 buildings and 4 towers for patient rooms. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development projects, please visit the website on the screen. The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Living environment. Ensure the availability of living accommodation through environmentally sound resources and tactics. 